How's it going? Welcome to another video. So we have got our first uh, team of the year base card. Uh, finally, we have gotten here, as I promised you guys. And yeah, we have got honorable mentions, Jules Koundé. So one I was really excited to use. I see him all the time, and he tends to be a pain uh, to play against. And I, you, I don't remember the last time. I think the last time I used Koundé was his Road to the Final. Uh, the objective, which I think might have been last year, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, it's been a while, but yeah, I, I was really, really excited to use the card again. Um, and obviously, you know, generally very meta, and some very good link ability. Now, uh, looking at the stats, the standout issue, initially, just from looking at the, the base of the card, uh, would be the f the height. He's 5'11", uh, which is a bit short. Um, but I was I really did realize after using him. It wasn't really an issue. You know, he has the 93 Jumping uh, which really does nullify that um, and I would say he did deal with those situations uh, Very reliably very consistently um, So for me really the standout issue was the work rate. So he has high high work rates uh, Which I actually didn't realize till I started using him and I realized he was playing in like the midfield role a lot of the times when we were getting counterattacked. Uh, so he does like to play a very high line, and in a lot of defensive situations, his positioning just might be a bit questionable. Um, so that is something to really, uh, I guess, consider. Um, and it might have been more noticeable because I was also using PK, who has the medium-medium work rates, uh, so obviously not ideal. Um, but yeah, he's he's got those work rates where you know his starting point will be very high, and then if you do overcommit. Uh, you know, you'll you'll have a situation where, where you'll have a lot of space in behind to be exploited. So, uh, just something to consider. Some people didn't have the issue. Some people did. I personally realized, you know, I definitely saw it in a lot of uh, instances. Um, but otherwise, the stats are, you know, very good. So, uh, I guess the pace is a good starting point, right? So, the 86 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. So, fortunately enough, uh, his mobility is recovery speed. Uh, is really good so when it comes to tracking back uh, he does have that capability uh, to do so so you can feel the speed uh, is is really nice in game uh, and then you know the dribbling stats so 84 agility 85 balance that's also gonna contribute uh, to tracking back so the quick speed in which he changes direction uh, it's gonna be very noticeable but yeah the uh, the movement like I said it just feels very fluid so uh, when in a 1v1 situation, when defending, his jockey speed is going to feel very quick, very responsive. And yeah, he's just, as you would expect, I'm sure you guys have used a Kunde card. Um, he just, that's that's something very unique about him. Um, he's also got 98 reactions, so that is literally perfect. And I mean, I probably, I probably would describe him as an auto defender. I mean, you can see, very good at anticipating and there's a lot of instances where he jumped uh, the attacker kind of uh, in front of him and yeah his his general reading of the play and his ability to pick out passes with those reactions also the 91 uh, interceptions uh, so yeah that is definitely my favorite thing about him defensively but yeah the reactions very good at auto blocking you know even if you're not using him uh, he has really good animations in which he kind of uh, covers space and kind of closes angles down uh, so that's a lot of fun um, so that's that's definitely one of the key uh, positives about the card um, when going into the tackle uh, he's got 90 stand tackle 88 slide tackle uh, he's not really powerful he doesn't have that presence um, you know he's only got 80 aggression 83 strength uh, so I would really describe his defensive his, his actual tackling uh, to be more of a tactical uh, style if that makes sense but uh, yeah, I would say his more his zonal defending, his his reading of the play was really his his strongest area defensively. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a pretty good card. Um, I don't I wouldn't say when I hear the general hype, I wouldn't say he was as good as I was expecting him to be. Um, but he definitely is very meta, and he is a really good option if you use a very strong, um, very defensively sound. A partner next to him so yeah that's going to be my review please like of course subscribe comment down below who you'd like to see next and thank you for watching